Hello and welcome back to Journey Beyond. Today I'll be previewing um, another shipment from HSN that I got. So this time you guys, they had some um, free shipping on clearance items. I just previously did a video on HSN with free shipping. They had a free shipping day at the end of August, but this shipping was uh, free for clearance items. So I just wanna show you what I got in this haul. Um, I got quite a few things. So I do have a mixture of uh, mostly crafts and I've craft things. There are a few things that are not, but I thought I would show it to you because they are super cute. But um, first I'm gonna start with some embossing folders I got from for Crafters Companion. I think there's a few other stamps mixed in there. I'll take those out. There we go. So these are the 3D embossing folders from Crafters Companion. Um, I think she previewed these on her show a couple of months ago and probably on a HSN craft day back in, I want to say July. I don't remember exactly when, but so this first one is your 3D embossing folder. This is a five by seven. This one is called Let It Snow. And I just like the techniques that they do with these, especially when you use the metallic wax, they are beautiful. This next one is called Winter Wishes. And this is also a five by seven folder. I think the next couple ones are. This next one is called Deck the Halls. And I just love the detail in here. Um, I was kind of on the fence at first about buying these, you guys, but I I just love the detail in it. They're just so pretty and just how you can make it look. And they're kind of simplistic if you don't want to, you know, put a whole lot of detail into your car or if you just don't have time. These are great. So I would recommend these. And these are on sale for 20 I think $20. Um, I think they're still on the website. I'm not sure because I ordered them about a week and a half ago, but I believe so. This last one is called Tis the Season. It's another 3D one, five by seven. And if you guys have never used these, like I said, they're kind of easy to use, simple. If you don't have a whole lot of time to make a card or just to cut the details out in color, these are really great. And they have a lot of um, demonstrations on Crafters Companion on YouTube that will show you how to use these embossing folders. So this one is called Happy Holidays. And this is a six by six folder, 3D. So this has your rustic wreath, Happy Holidays. Really cute, pretty card. This next one is called Opulent Bobbles. I really like that card and I like the detail of the tree and just the little snowflakes in the background. This is also a six by six card. This one is called Ornate Christmas Tree. Really cute. And the last one is called Snowflake Furry. Flurry, sorry. <laughs> Snowflake Flurry. When I saw, I really like this card. So I just thought that was really cr pretty because you can use it, you know, for winter if you have like a birthday or for New Year's. You can use it during the winter months. I really like that. Really cute card. Okay, you guys. Next, I have a couple of Molly Harrison stamps. So in my previous videos, I've told you that I really love her artwork, especially this line. I love that whole fairy tale, fairy fantasy type thing. So this was a stamp of two and this was 1995. So this first one is called Little Ladybug. So Crafters Companion did not carry this. I had a hard time finding these two particular ones. So that's why I bought it off of HSN. It's just very cute. Sending you love and magic. Thank you very much. Just adorable. I love how they colored her and all the detail in there. These are big stamps, you guys, in there, so they're they're beautiful. They are beautiful. This one I really like. It's called Hearts. So this one has Happy Birthday. My heart has wings and I can fly. Every day is a new beginning. And I just love the detail on this example, how they colored her. She's very, very pretty. So I know um, on Crafter's Companion, Sarah had sold like the whole, like a whole set or collection. I think it was like six or eight stamps and it had this one, but I had previously bought them when they didn't have this. So that's why I bought this one instead of the whole set. Cause I had bought the whole set from Crafters Companion. I think it was like a set of six a few months back, but it did not include that last one I just showed you. So these are a little different. Um, I was a little bit on the fence about these. And then I was like, do I really need those? Am I ever going to use them? But then I looked at, you know, some of the pictures and some of the demos they had. This is Libra. 
This next one is Scorpio. So in this one, he's actually holding the symbol right there. This next one is Pisces. I just think that's so cute. Like those little fish and the little eyelashes and very cute. This next one is Taurus and he has his symbol there too. And I think they all do, like even the Pisces has a symbol right here. I think the first two did too and I just didn't catch it, you guys. Here, I think. Yeah, and then there. They're a little hard to see. Some are easier to see than others. Um, the next one is Virgo. So that's an interesting... I've never seen the Virgo quite like that. And it has the symbol there. My husband was teasing me about this one because my husband's a Virgo. And so he was, he was telling me, look, he goes, I'm a sign of a femininity. And I thought that was so funny. It's ridiculous. And he is anything but that. Believe me, he's very man, manly and masculine. And <laughs> it's kind of funny when he said it. Um, this one is Sagittarius. See the symbol there. This one is Capricorn. So this is a different rendition too. I've seen renditions of this as the sea goat, but also um, I've seen it just as a goat. So this one is Leo. And I really like that lion, you guys. I think that's really cute. And I like that they are big dyes too. I do like that. That's a big, another reason I actually purchased these because the dyes were big. Had they been smaller, I might have not. This one is Gemini. So that's another interesting one. They're kind of, you know, upside down and they look like some Cirque du Soleil actors or, you know, it was interesting when I saw this one. This one is Aquarius. So this one's a little different too. So the Aquarius, um, the symbols that I've seen, and I'm sure you guys have too, usually like they have like a figure, like a man carrying the water, but this is just the water pitcher by itself. And then this last one is Aries. And it has the little ram there. So usually like with Capricorn, I notice like they normally have it by itself like this. And then in this one, they have, you know, the sea goat. So I've seen them both ways. This is from Anna Griffin. So I really liked it when I saw it, but it was one of those things like, cause I have a die that's similar to this. It's not Anna Griffin, but it was just so cute. And this is her snow globe, snow globe card making dies. So I just thought it was cute, really cute. Nice winter Christmas die. It gives you, you know, the scene here, the little house and the trees and the deer and the forest with the snowflakes and the trees. And it has the base. And that's what I really liked. It had the base because I've seen plenty of dies like this, but there's no base. It's just the circle. And but I really like that. So it comes with, you know, the typical idea making card comes with a magnetic sheet so it's really cute and that's also on clearance right now you guys so these are the anna griffin vellum layers for christmas so when i saw these um i really thought they were adorable these were not on clearance but um i like them so i ordered them so there was no free shipping on this but i wanted to show you because it did come in the same order So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what these look like. So these are a little smaller than I thought because in the picture, like I said, they always look bigger. Um, they do have the sizes on there, but sometimes I just don't read them. I look at the picture and I'm like, oh, that's a great size, but no. So these are a little bit smaller. So these come in, let's see, it tells us the sizes on here. So there's 96 foil stamp sheets, 24 each, four by six, five by seven, five by five, and six by six. So those are the perfect size for making, you know, our cards and the sizes we normally use. So those are actually perfect. And I love that. But in the picture, when I was looking at them, they just looked bigger. I thought they were like eight by 10 or I wasn't really, I guess I wasn't really paying attention. I was just more entranced with how it looked in the picture. And I was like, oh, how beautiful. But I'm very happy with these. There's no need for me to like cut Additionally, they're just already cut to the size that I need. So you have the red, the green, this is like an olive color. And I like that, it's really pretty. Beautiful vellum. Some more red and green. And then we have, I guess that would be like a silver or a gray. Yeah, like a silverish color. 
very cute. So these would be great for matting and layering. Or if you want to, I don't know if these are printable or not. So I know they have the Crafter Companion, they sell printable vellum that you can actually pop into your printer and type whatever message you want to type on there and um, print it and cut it out to however you want it. These, I'm not sure if they are, but they would still just make a beautiful background or um, if you want to do matting and layering, these would just be really great, you guys. These are gorgeous and I love the foil detail. Very pretty. So I got two boxes of these because I really like them. So this is called Craft Factory. So this is kind of like your, they have like a bunch of toppers. They kind of threw the stamp. I don't know if the stamp came with it. I can't remember, but they kind of, it was separate from the pack. They gave me this die set here. So we're going to go ahead and open this. So this is on clearance too, you guys, right now. Sorry about all that noise. Okay. So here, let's see what we have. We have some die cut shapes. So those are cute. We have um, some reindeer. Let's see. We got some reindeer, some banners, some trees, some wreaths, stars, holly, candy canes. That's really cute. Get a little closer so you guys can see. Next, we have some tags and twine. That's cute. That's very useful. And let's see. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Tis the season. Joy. Love. Actually, has one. This is December 25th. That is cute. You guys can see that there. And then, let's see. So they have a paper pad here. So this is a 6x6 paper pad of 40 sheets, 20 designs, and 6 foiled pages. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this. So we can see what's in here. All right. Oh, that's cute. Look at that, you guys. They have, like, the actual countdown. How adorable. So we have some, let's see, some stripes, some snowflakes, some musical notes. It's cute. Some baubles. Some Christmas trees. Just some cute snowflake and leaves. Some more stripes, some zigzag stripes. Some snowflakes, some candy canes, some more trees. Some more golden white stripes. Merry Christmas. Oh, those are cute. I really like those papers. So these are one-sided, single-sided. Again, 40 sheets, six by six. So these would be perfect for the cards we were just talking about. You could probably take some of the six by six on this and use it with this if you wanted to. So next we have a card making set. So there's 10 pre-folded cards, two punch out embellishment sheets and one sheet of foam squares. That is cute. So you literally have everything in this kit to make your Christmas cards if you wanted to go this route. Handmade Christmas cards are absolutely the best, but sometimes, you know, we don't have times. We all have busy lives and we work and we have kids and we have lots of things to take care of and to do. So this is just a better option. So let's see. Made especially for you by... Well, these are cute, you guys. These are kind of simple cards. So they're blank here, outside there. And they have some little punch outs right there. See how cute. Those are cute. I like these. I really like that one. That's cute. I like it has like that country Christmas look I like. And then you have your foam squares there. I think that's it. These aren't bad. So let's see. Ten pre-folded cards. Again, two punch outs. Two punch out embellishment sheets and one sheet of foam squares. I can make those type of cards. That's cute. Okay. And I think the last thing is do-it-yourself paper bow set. 
So it includes eight foiled bow template sheets in two sizes and double-sided tape. How cute. I actually saw this demo I watched the video on HSN for this. It's pretty easy, actually. Um, so I don't know if you can see the outline. I can kind of see it in my camera there. So here, where you would pop them out right there. I'm probably going to have to look at it again or shoot a tutorial of myself doing these. But let's see, we have some stripes, some golden white stripes, some red, zigzag. This, oh my gosh, this is already my favorite, the stars. I love that. Oops, sorry guys. And we have this pattern. I really like this pattern too. Every time I see this pattern, it makes me think of like Moroccan style stuff. I don't know why, I just really like it. And then again, the same pattern. So there's four different designs, two sheets of each one. That's really cute. So it kind of gives you the instructions on the back of how to make the bow. It's pretty easy from what I saw. If you go to HSN and go into the clearance section, I think they still have this available. Like I said, I ordered this maybe a week and a half ago. So as far as I know, it's not sold out, but don't hold me to that. But if you click on the demo or the actual video, the presentation, it shows you how to make these. So that's, those are great, you guys. Okay, next I have the Cropodile. So this one I've actually been eyeing for quite a few months, but I just couldn't justify the price. And I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, you spent so much money on all this other stuff. But I'm weird like that. Certain things I can, and then other things I just, I can't. If it's like a single item, like I was explaining about Masara's signature collections, like I can spend, you know, certain amounts of money, but sometimes I see them and they're just like too expensive, like $200 for a collection. And I'm thinking, gosh, this is just basically like paper. <laughs> I'm going to spend $200 on this. So uh, some things, you know, I have to justify in my mind of what I think is reasonable and what isn't. So this one, like I said, I've been eyeing for a few months now. So this is a multi-punch crocodile. Gives you a few different sizes. You have 5 16 1 4 3 16 1 8 and 1 16 It shows you all the different hole punches you can do there. So this one um, retails for about $31, $32. And as versatile as it is, I just thought it was a little expensive. So this is actually on clearance right now and I got it for $22, $21 or $22. I think very heavy you guys um i do like a lot of the we are memory keepers products so if you guys want to pick that up they have that right now i keep hitting my camera sorry you guys the next thing um i have is this craft your companions little tote bag so these are on clearance right now too you guys so at first you know like i've seen she has this on her website and it never really interested in me and then and I just happened to look through the clearance section one day and then I saw this at the time I ordered all this other stuff and I thought well am I ever going to really use it do I need it because they have a few different styles and I like this style the handle here because they have another one that has like two handles and I just like this better so this one I'm actually going to use and put my some of my glues and stuff that I, things that I use the most all the time so I can have it just handy and just pick this up because I have everything set in its place different places in my room and so it's better than having to go across the room and go grab it so the things I use the most will be going here will be right next to my craft desk so I thought that was handy so this one was on sale I think this was $14 for this it originally was in the 20s somewhere which I just, I don't know. Oh no, I'm lying. It was not. So this one is on sale for $21.88. And I think the original price on this is like $29 or $30. So it's not like a huge discount, but it's like a $7 or $8 discount. And I do like it. So I have the apron to match this, but I will be using this for, like I said, it's just a lot more things that are, that I use all the time will just be more accessible to me instead of me having to go across the room to get it. All right, you guys, next I have, this came as a set too. So this was her Spectrum Noir Premium Black Paper Pad. So this is nine by 12, 240 GSM, it has 30 pages. But it also came with a little paint palette and some brushes. So she does sell the brushes on her website and they go 
anywhere from two to four dollars depending on if they're on sale or not they also do sell these at joann so these are the um royal and Langnickel brand so if you guys have never seen these are pretty good paint brushes i like that they have like the soft grip right here so your hands don't hurt when you're painting for a long time 1878 that's how much this was so i mean it wasn't you know wasn't overly expensive wasn't really cheap but I just like the fact that you got all these things with this and this is really a good paper pad you guys so if you've never used it I really like this paper pad I would recommend it. it's nice and thick you can use your metallic markers on there any of your your um, metallic ink pads that she sells you can use on there too and they come out beautifully your metallic waxes they really come out great on these in fact I just thought it was a good deal with the paint palette and the brushes the next thing I got is her rectangle dimensionals box. So I had ordered this originally, I want to say a month ago, and I actually ordered it on her website with the double-sided dies. And then I got my order, and it was one of those things where like, oh, sorry, we're out of stock, and they had to refund my money. So I think with the double-sided dies on her website with the die, it's like $55. So on HSN right now, this is on sale for $28. I know like on Craft Stash, I haven't checked recently, but when I had originally looked at this like a month ago or so, I think this was like $42 by itself. So $28 isn't bad. So I got that. I haven't used any of her box dies, her dimensional box dies yet. So I want to try that out and actually see if it's as easy as it looks. So if you guys have used this, let me know what you think. Does it work really well? Or do you just prefer to make your own boxes with the Envela box or the, is the Envela, Envela box? She has one that you can make boxes. One of those things, because I have another one too. I'm getting all confused. I have another one from, I think it's me, um, We Are Memory Capers. They have like a box making little template thing. All right, you guys, the next thing I got is this is from Craft Factory Creations. So these are just little sequin embellishments. And I really like this because you get 20 different, is it 20? Two, three, no, 15, I'm sorry, can't count. And they come in their own little, their own little space right there. And I really like these because they're they're nice and thick. You have your flat edge where you would glue your you glue that side down, and then you have your different colors. And it wasn't expensive. I want to say it was like eleven dollars, like eleven something. So for this, so I ordered one just to see if I'd like it, and I like it. I think they're cute. So this one you could use this with anything, especially for Christmas if you wanted to make a um, a card that had a tree on it, and then you could actually just use these for the baubles if you wanted to. It's a decoration side of a cuter. You can use them for anything. So these are very useful in our crafty world, gals. I love these. I have a ton of these. Not this brand, but I have a lot of different sequins. And I have one I'm going to actually shoot here pretty soon. I'm going to show you where I, what I got. It's a little different than this, but very cute. The next couple items I have actually have nothing to do with crafting, <laughs> but I got them because they were on clearance and they were a part of the free shipping. So I just thought I would show you these items. They're really cute. So there are a couple of Christmas items. So this first one is like a rotating disc, if you will. So, you know, you guys have your snow globe. Sorry, that just fell over. Like a snow globe or like an ornament piece you want to display. This is like a little rotating table right here. I did look on Amazon before I purchased it. And the prices are comparable. I think the ones on Amazon were a few dollars more. So I'm going to put the batteries in. And we're going to see if this puppy works. Okay, you guys. Let's see. So I'm going to put it there. I'll put something nice and fancy on it so you guys can see. Let's put this pretty little. See, and there you go. So this is on clearance right now on HSN as well. This is, like I said, I think it was like 16 or $17. So I think it's just a great piece to have, especially during your holidays. You can use it, like I said, any time of year. Anything you want to really use it on this is very cute. Um, I know they sell some bigger ones, like I said, on Amazon. And they sell this size too. So this one is two and a quarter in height. And it is six inches across. So this one has some mixed reviews on HSN. It only has like two and a half stars. I don't know why, but that didn't deter me from purchasing it because, you know, some people, everybody has different tastes or different uses for things. 
you obviously, I wouldn't recommend putting anything like super heavy on it, but um, maybe that's why people didn't, or they got theirs broken or whatever happened for them to give that rating. But yeah, I never let ratings deter me. If I really like something or if I'm interested in something, because my opinion could be different from someone else's. And I've seen that with quite a few products. I can't mention the names, but there are some die cutting machines in the past that I had purchased that everybody raved about. And I did not, I didn't care for them. So that's that you guys. And then let me just move that out of the way. I'll move that to the back over here. So it'd be spinning in the background as I show you these last few pieces. So these next few pieces, they're really cute. They're a little smaller than I thought, but that's okay. I think they're, they're really cute. So these are just some Christmas like portrait pictures. You get two sizes, two different scenes. And I just thought those were adorable. And they are fiber optics, so they do light up and like twinkle in the background. And I actually got two sets of these. So I don't have any more batteries to show you what this looks like, but maybe I can put some batteries in and then take a picture and put them at the end of the video so you guys can see them. But if you guys want to look at the detail up close and see the little, the lights there, so they light up. And I just thought that was really cute, especially when you have your Christmas tree up and it's dark in your house and these little lights are twinkling, just adorable. I showed my husband today and he just was like, okay. He's so cute. All right, and then this last piece I wanna show you is the same exact thing, just a different design. So this is Winter Wonderland, it's really cute. So this is kind of vintage looking and I really like vintage looking everything. I do like old time decorations and just things that just look vintage and aged and just really like that. So that's really cute. And then this, I really like the old fashioned Christmas. That's so cute. The old truck with a Christmas tree in the back. And I did order a tapestry that I could hang. That's fiber optic as well. These are fiber optic too, you guys, that I could hang. If I get it today, I will definitely take a picture of it and add it to the video so you guys can see it, but I don't have it as of now. It's supposed to be delivered today. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, I just wanted to add this. I just wanted to let you know I did get the tapestry. So here it is. I was trying to find the best way to film this. So I kind of just put it in my, open one of my drawers to my dresser and then just kind of hung it from there. But um, I will add some pictures at the end of the video so you can see it in its entirety. But I just wanted to let you know what it looked like. Very pretty. So I got this off of HSN too. It is on clearance right now. I think I got it for $35. So beautiful tapestry. It comes with a wooden like holder that I'll take pictures of so you guys can see. And then it has like a battery pack in the back that you put three uh, AA batteries in it. And then it has a remote where you can turn it off and on. Very cute. Um, I'll try to get a little closer so you can see. Super, super cute though. I'm very pleased with it. And I love the lights, you know, for the little windows. So cute. And the little deer. And there it is, you guys. I just wanted to show you. All right. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.